having one of those days, you guys. Just out of gas. I'm out of it. But you know what? I'm not in the business of letting you down. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. That means it's time for the super great at-home movie time. It's a great big picture show. I am... I'm tired. I'm tired. But what, what better way to celebrate the tiredness than to recommend a movie for your leisure? That's what we're doing today. And for today, I'm going to recommend the Stanford Prison Experiment. You can get that at Redbox. Any Redbox. They have, all the Redboxes have them somewhere. You can find them. Just go find them. I, just, you got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, for those that don't know, Stanford Prison Experiment is based on the famous Stanford College Experiment in 1971, where they took 24 young men and divided them up into prisoners and guards and locked them in a hallway with three separate corridors they used as jail cells, and complete chaos ensues. It is an incredibly taut, uncomfortable, unnerving experience that really challenges uh, morally and uh, mentally how you would feel in that situation. It is directed by Kyle Patrick Alvarez to excruciating effect. He weaves his camera in and out of these situations uh, involving these guys and what they went through um, with extreme precision and invasive nature. Not one scene goes by where you don't feel uneasy. Um, slow motion is used to brilliant effect of really uh, raising the tension further and further and further. And takes uh, will be elongated and edits will be delayed just to ensure that that tension uh, remains there and just giving you enough time to think, what could, he, what could, what could happen now? What could happen now? We have a cast that is including pretty much every popular young male actor working today. Ezra Miller is explosive and rebellious. Uh, you may have seen him in Trainwreck most recently. We have Ty Sheridan performing extremely well, uh, playing almost the center of the movie to some extent. It's really much more of a collaborative effort all the way around, though. And I really want to give special credit to Michael Angarano, who's been one of my favorites for a very long time, playing the most sadistic of the uh, male guard characters. And uh, there is an interaction at the end of the movie that really breaks down mentally what these guys were going through and the after effects of what happened. And it's brutal. Rounding out the rest, though, we have Billy Crudup, who is always great. Olivia Thirlby, very good as well. And also, again, just one more shout out, uh, Johnny Simmons, who uh, takes up a more of a leading role compared to the supporting characters in the rest of the movie. He has a number of excruciating scenes, uh, and he just performs really well. And like I mentioned before, this isn't just a very casual movie experience. It's very uneasy and taut and uncomfortable most of the time. It came out much earlier this year. And I feel like it kind of fell under the radar. But if you're looking for a very tense and uncompromising look at morality and human nature in a certain situation like that, then please uh, go find a red box and, uh, or you just take a nap. Life is so much easier when you just take a nap. I'm Spencer Howard Belden, and this is The Great Big Picture Show. Please like, share, and subscribe. Everything that you ever see, come back here every Wednesday for a movie recommendation at home that you can find at Redbox, Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, anything like that. And please take some time today and just just kick back. I'm feeling it. It feels it feels uh, 